Now uh, we're out here, we're shooting uh, Eric's truck. It's a nice truck. And we came to Fort Point uh, to get a shot of the truck. So this is one of my favorite areas to shoot, like portraits. Yeah, yeah. And I like when he said he wanted pictures of the truck. This is the first place that came to mind. So that's what's up. I know you have a video with like uh, spots in the Bay Area to shoot. Is this one of them in there? I don't remember if it's this in is there. not. Yeah, yeah, this is not. But but this is a good one though. Yeah. Like in the Fort Point. Like, I would recommend coming early when there's not a lot of people. Uh, because this later on you wouldn't be able to yeah. do this because it's not this is we're basically in the middle of the street right now we are if you want to check it yeah <laughs> uh, but it's empty so we're good yeah. uh, we're not gonna be here for too long is there specific uh, lens that you use to like like for example to shoot the golden gate in general from this uh, well right now because i want to get the car and and the and the bridge yeah. i'm using the right angle which i don't normally use often I don't, you probably have never seen me use this one um, but i use this for landscape so like to get like the whole like story yeah. um, otherwise if i want like close-up shots and i'll use the other two the 50 and then the long one that's the 70 to 200. okay Right now I have the bridge in focus. I'm gonna take the shot for the one's coming. And then as soon as she passes, then I'm gonna take a picture of the truck in focus. And then in post, I'm gonna put them together so it's a focus stack. So like everything's uh, sharp in the, in the picture. Oh, that's sick. So that's how you do that. Yeah. Got it, okay, so you. That makes sense. So, wait, so you do this through Lightroom or Photoshop or what? Uh, you can do it Lightroom or Photoshop. I think Photoshop is easier. Got uh, it. Just to do that. I don't do anything else on Photoshop. Yeah. So. yeah. That makes sense. But you can do like really crazy edits. So we'll do that same shot, but now with the lights on. Okay. I'm going to uh, turn it on right now. Here we go. Here we go. So on top of the focus stack, uh, we're also doing a exposure stack. So because like it's pretty oh, oh, oh. bright, the truck is dark. So the, the sun, the way it's hitting the truck creates a lot of shadow right here. So I need to brighten up the picture in order to get the detail of the truck. But then that blows out the sky. So then we need to take another picture to basically darken the sky so that when we put it all together into one picture, everything like the exposure looks correct everything's gonna be sharpened and focused so let me get this That's clear i'm not a photographer so i'm more of a video guy but yeah. so to get the right picture you have to take at least like four different shots sometimes, and focus like, in different like objects yeah, within. maybe like nine sometimes you know you can stack hella pictures like uh, i know some people stack up to like 40 so it's and really just for one where, single like object and I guess. it's just one picture yeah Damn. Like if you do astrophotography, you know, the stars, yeah, yeah. man, they're stacking a bunch of pictures. Uh, there's a ton of it. That, uh, that picture is probably has more memory than a video sometimes. Like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's how they do that. But I think, I think that's the shot right there. That looks cool. What's up y'all so just got done uh, shooting Eric's truck um, about to head home start editing um, actually pretty excited uh, to get this on the computer and see how it turns out but uh, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in Man, this camera makes me like PHAT <laughs> reference to Mike but alright y'all Catch on the next one.